we're gonna get started digging up there behind the animal shelter in our corral. So I'm gonna round up the attachments I'm thinking I might need and take them all up with me just so I don't have to go in and out of the corral to get them. So I'm gonna take the main digging bucket, big volume, scraper I-beam so that I can help kind of level it out, smooth it out on the ground level once I get the uphill edge cut. And then before I go in real quick, I gotta run out and grab my ripper tooth just because that will help break up the soil first so it's easier on my bucket. I only had enough room to grab one of the two attachments. So I just gotta go back and grab it. I would have just come out here with the with the little buggy with our ranger and picked that thing up and threw it in the back and then drove it back It'd be a little bit faster. But that thing is stupid heavy. We did that once before and it took me and Logan and all of our effort to try to get it lifted up into the back and I decided that was the last time I'll probably try to pick it up by hand unless push comes to shove and I have to. Pigs are trying to follow me out here. I might for a minute just keep an eye on them and let them browse all this off. Because they'll rip it apart in no time flat. Keep them from wanting to walk through up the hill too much. Yeah, maybe I'll give them a minute. They're in like hog heaven over there eating those weeds. Maybe I'll let them come on in here and just eat this down just a little bit, just to kind of get rid of some of the vegetation and make my life a little easier moving dirt. All right, they're eating that and they're staying pretty good over there for now. I'm gonna keep an eye on them, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and start shelving this shoulder a little bit. Just using the back of the teeth, the back of the bucket, kind of push out, like set the teeth against and then push out like that to roll the dirt downhill and kind of open a shelf. And I'm going to take that little shelf and I'm going to stab a bunch of these mini boulders 
big rocks into that shelf before I start burying them up. And that's just going to help stabilize everything, give me some firm footing for all of that to sit on. Because we're going to try to cut that back all the way to here plus, because that's about the in line, somewhere right in there. But we're gonna get, be at the bottom of that line and try to contour that up, going up. So we'll see where we can get and how it shapes out. We've gotta be far enough away from up there next to that other structure stuff because that's where the edge of the road and the landing is up there so we got to maintain some distance there so I don't undercut that road but get close enough over there that I can have a good access into this pit. Just set a boulder down there and I'll put a scoop of dirt on it. And I'll grab another boulder. And I'm kind of just, I guess you could say I'm stacking them in there. Kind of like, like you would if it was retaining blocks. But my intention is not to build a boulder retaining wall over there. At least not a visible one. I guess you could say I'm building a boulder retaining wall that's getting fully buried. So I'd rather have the soil surface than the boulder surface, especially since that's pasture for the animals. This one in here next to that other one, the first one. Maybe. I'm going to roll a little bit, but it's settled, so that's going to give me a good spot to settle to. So this one in there. I don't know how well you can see the bottom down there when I get over there, but essentially that's what I'm doing is creating a loose boulder wall, I guess. It's not all, it's not all form fitted and stuff, but that's not the intention. It's just to give a good ballast and base so that that hillside doesn't settle away to nothing. It should settle and it should settle a little bit. It's not going to settle six feet or anything. Most of this that I'm digging out in that face is heavily clay. So that's going to go in and pack into that rocks like a border base, I guess. Hold the base together once it settles in the winter. Pretty well stay put. <laughs> There's a few of them over there that are smart. These pigs don't have a wallow because they make, they just keep digging one. So they got to stay in the shade to keep cool. So those guys are starting with the weeds in the shade. As long as that bucket goes in pretty reasonable, I won't worry about my ripper tooth too much. There's actually a little bit of moisture in there, but not too bad. So. Bit of rain off and on for the last week, so it helps. Oh, I might have to pull that little tree out because it's likely to rip one of my hoses off when I'm getting around down here. So, just take it out real quick. Pick it up, pull it up here. I was surprised. 
realized how much the pigs like those maple leaves and the stems too. I put a branch in there with them a few weeks back and they just went crazy over it. Ate it all up. Definitely wasn't expecting that. <laughs> of lightning pouring rain crescent moon has taken itself far away to lay down one more lazy dream I can't sleep the years to come you and me we was thicker than blood but the sky moved on and got inside of me. I still hear the words you told me. Baby, gonna be so lonely when I'm gone. But it isn't true. I was just as lonely with you I guess I always will be Someday soon I'm gonna go Back behind the clouds to see the big light show in the sky. You know, I've been there in my dream. You there, right by my side. We were ghosts with arms open wide, but we floated away. That's filled with peace and sometimes a man just needs a wife Break my heart, break my bones You still hang around wherever I may roam Yeah, you got behind my eye It's more than I can take I can't pretend No, it's much too late To try to make amends For all those careless nights Brought the darkest days I still hear the words you told me Baby, gonna be so But it isn't true I was just as lonely with you So I guess I always will be closer. I'm gonna call that a night. We're not quite there yet, but we're pretty close. I want to take this line right about there and bring that pretty sheer. It'll bring it back about three and a half feet. And then right up here I want to take this 
rough little hump out and kind of smooth that out and bring translate that line down through here so it's going to come back about another three or four feet along that bottom heel that is going to get me a pretty nice straight cut right through here that has a smooth and flat and that way then i can get in there and have enough room to come two or three feet from the cut away so that I have room for that to kind of slough in a little bit over time and find its own natural point and still be able to get to the corner of the building and out here at a nice point we'll come out here and square off and probably end up putting a gate at the back here that we can use to turn the animals from this pen out into the pasture through right here something like that but I'm gonna call it a night go get some supper and tomorrow I'll come back at it grab that ripper and break all this other loose and get it pulled up and set off the side now this shoulder was built out about two feet three feet from the fence posts originally and over the last year or two the cows and the goats have have walked it down and kind of settled it and through the winter and everything so i just built it out even more and they'll do the same thing but they want to walk on that edge so i've got to have more than a foot and a half or so because they'll walk on it even if i only have six or eight inches and wear it down and undercut the fence so we're out wide enough now that shouldn't be an issue going forward we're getting there another little bit of time tomorrow and we should have that all wrapped up back here so that we can get ready to pound some posts and close that back portion in protect that hill from them walking it up and down and really be able to use this space back here for animal sorting and separation and cover
Okay, that's got it. Uh, that's all cut back. This is all that really, really hard clay layer that just stays. So it's going to stay put. The rest of that's got a good enough uh, slope to it that it's going to stay put. There's only a little patch that I kind of ripped the vegetation off just to smooth the slope out. And that'll regrow real, real fast. But that's got me opened up enough. I can come right down from the corner of the building straight down here and probably have to do drill pipes and use the hydraulic driver that I like I did on the fronts. Drive those in down here to this corner. Then I'll probably end up putting a gate right here from this last rail tie across to these drill pipes. And that gate will allow me to turn the animals out here into pasture and bring them in from pasture right there so that I don't have to worry about taking them in or out from this front side. I can get them into here, open that gate, bring them in from the pasture and let them come in here to the shelter, close the gate and have them in. Then any sorting or loading that I need to do, I can do out here toward the front side. So that's good enough for now. Uh, we'll get some drill pipe next day or two and see if we can get that put in so we can get some extra holding for these animals and get them situated a little bit better as we get ready to start thinking about winter.